Today we're doing a quick comparison of 8-bit Cinema DNG versus 12-bit Cinema DNG that you get from the Sigma FP. Now, if you're familiar with the Sigma FP, one of the selling points of this camera is the fact that it does shoot 12-bit Cinema DNG uncompressed RAW. But what about the 8-bit Cinema DNG? And before you start asking all the questions, yes, the Sigma FP does offer 8-bit 10-bit and 12-bit Cinema DNG. And so today I do want to compare some footage shot in 8-bit Cinema DNG and 12-bit Cinema DNG and open this up for discussion because obviously we may all want to shoot 12-bit Cinema DNG, but what do we think about shooting 8-bit and in what scenarios would we want to shoot 8-bit if at all? Now, while we look at some footage, I do have a couple different talking points, starting first with why 8-bit? Why would you even want to shoot 8-bit Cinema DNG? Well, for me, it simply comes down to the fact to being able to shoot onto an SD card. This is an Angel Bird V90 card. I can shoot about 13 minutes. This is 128 gigabyte. I can shoot about 13 minutes of Cinema DNG 8-bit footage onto this SD card. And so if I'm traveling or I want to be a little bit more lightweight and I don't want to carry an SSD, this is a great solution. Now, when you shoot to a V90 SD card, you can either shoot 12-bit 1080 footage, even in higher frame rates, or you can shoot 8-bit 4K. And so if I do want 4K, then I may do the 8-bit option, which leads me to my other talking point, which is my overall experience in shooting 8-bit Cinema DNG. Now, in my personal experience with shooting 8-bit Cinema DNG, I will often use it for things like social media posts, whether for myself or maybe a behind the scenes shoot where they need something for social media and I don't necessarily need all the full 12 bit cinema DNG. I may shoot an 8 bit or if I'm traveling with family, I'll use 8 bit. And in my experience with shooting 8 bit, I noticed that it does struggle a little bit more when you have to push the exposure or you do a heavy grade or even sometimes with uh, like a heavy white balance change, it may struggle a little bit more more than 12-bit, that's really an understood of 8-bit. It does not have as much color information as 12-bit, and so you will see it struggle in those certain scenarios. Now, something to keep in mind with 8-bit is you may see some banding. Again, that's just due to the fact there's not as much color information as there is with 12-bit. Um, I don't notice banding a ton in a lot of my shots, but the other day I was grading some footage and I tried to qualify the skin tones. I noticed that the colors that were not isolated, that there was some banding present. And so obviously it's there in those scenes, but unless you're pixel peeping or unless you're looking super close and a lot of my stuff is for YouTube and so you're maybe not pixel peeping that much or you're viewing it all on a mobile phone and that's maybe why you're not seeing it as much, but that's my case in point is in some scenarios, it may be justifiable to save some hard drive space or to be able to shoot to an SD card and shoot an 8-bit versus 12-bit. And so it really just comes down to the scenario. Again, I'm I'm not ever saying you should replace 12-bit Cinema DNG with 8-bit. That's just not going to happen. And so if you are doing a professional shoot or if you are shooting something more high end, then I would absolutely shoot 12-bit Cinema DNG. But if it's something that is a social media post or maybe you are traveling, going out with family, then by all means, like I think you can shoot an 8-bit and completely get away with it and be totally fine. But that being said, I do want this to be a discussion. And so let me know in the comments below what you guys think about 8-bit cinema dng or if you shoot an 8-bit or maybe why you don't shoot an 8-bit do you like it do you not like it let me know in the comments below and so that's it for me i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did enjoy the video make sure to give it a like and if you're into the sigma fp or the l mount alliance maybe possibly some lumix cameras here soon consider subscribing as always thank you guys for joining go and find your journey go embrace life peace